You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition spoilers for the week of Monday, February 19th through Friday, February 23rd, which is the third week of February sweeps, the last, the next to the last week before it all wraps up. And as always, there's big stuff happening. There's going to be more RJ and Luna stuff, but we are getting Steffi and Finn stuff, and we are getting Steffi and Luna. Liam stuff. No word yet on if we're getting any Thomas and Hope. I don't know. I... <laughs> Uh, I'm not too optimistic about that, but we shall see when we get the full roster of spoilers for now. It's just a a nice, juicy helping of early leaked spoilers. If you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our updates. And as I always do, when I do the early edition spoilers, I'm going to kind of go through with you what's happening the rest of this week to give you context for next week. So in that vein, Wednesday, February 14th, 2024, Poppy thinks she's to blame for Luna cheating with Zende. This is a really funny spoiler to me because she's 190% to blame for Luna cheating with Zende. Literally, literally nobody even shares a particle of blame except for her. Zende, you know, he'd been flirting with her and I think he thought his charms worked, you know, and boy, seeing him cry after Tuesday's episode, how devastated he was at the idea that he might have done something with Luna when he didn't have consent just devastated him. Oh my gosh, that was some of the best acting I've seen from Delon Demetz, and he was so good. Um, So yeah, yeah, Poppy, you're at fault, and it's horrible because now three young people are hurting because you are some kind of druggy junkie, and we just don't know what the drug is. Also on Wednesday, Brooke reassures her son, RJ Forster, that Luna is committed to him. Luna's gone home. She's feeling just disgusted about all of this, so she doesn't want to see him. She's just traumatized, understandably. Again, not Zenday's fault, not Luna's fault, not RJ's fault, but bless her heart. And she's gone home to her awful mother who has finally realized that everything bad that her sister said about her is coming true. Remember, Lee Finnegan just told Poppy that she was setting a horrible example for her daughter. Even worse than setting a horrible example, she's basically drugged her daughter into this horrible thing. I am starting to be totally Team Lee Finnegan on this thing. At first, I thought she was being too extreme with her sister. Now I'm right there with her. All right, that takes us to Thursday, February 15th, when Luna is shocked that her mom's the reason she cheated on her boyfriend. So by Thursday, Poppy is finally being honest about something. And she tells her daughter that those were her happy mints that she had. And I just wonder if Luna's going to be like, tell me what was in them. And Poppy's going to be like, I don't really know. They just kind of make me feel good because Lee Finnegan already said she was certain her sister had no idea what she was putting into her body. And I agree. And bless her heart. I really hope Luna goes and asks Finn to run a tox screen on her. So then we'll all know what it was, but it definitely feels like some sort of serious psychotropic drug. I don't even know. It's just terrible. Also on Thursday, Eric Forster offers Zende a new job opportunity. I wonder if he is going to offer Zende the chance to go to one of the European divisions since Zende is feeling so sidelined and understandably annoyed at RJ getting promotions and assignments and all kinds of things he hasn't earned. Not at all. Not that Zende's not a Nepo baby. He is, but at least Zende has experience and training and actual skills. So I just wonder if Eric is going to offer Zende something out of the way so that he doesn't annoy the anointed one anymore. Then on Friday, February 16th, we are going to close out this week with Zende completely stunned because Poppy and Luna tell him about the mints and about the fact that she was high when she slept with him. I... 
I cannot imagine his reaction. He was already devastated just off the stuff that Luna said. So once he hears this from Poppy too, I think he's just going to be sick about it. Basically, Poppy has just victimized Zende as well. I mean, RJ is a victim too, but indirectly. I mean, Zende and Luna, you know, basically Poppy drugged Luna into Zende assaulting her unintentionally. It's just absolutely horrifying. I don't enjoy when soap operas decide to tamper with non-consent and rape and things like that. I find it very distasteful. And here we are. Also on Friday, Luna faces a horrible decision. She is trying to decide if she is going to come clean to RJ about sleeping with his cousin. I do think that she will. All right, going into the following week, the week of February 19th through the 23rd. So, of course, Luna and Zende, it definitely looks like they did the deed. I was kind of hoping that he was just letting her think that, but after his, you know, the tears and everything, okay, nope, they actually did it. He swears he used protection. However, condoms don't always work, but let's hope so. Let's hope so. RJ, of course, is going to be livid when he finds out Zende hopped in bed with Luna when she was acting strange and sloppy. I'm sure he's going to try and blame him. I hope that Luna defends him and blames the real culprit, which is her own mother. We meet a new character next week, Lucy. She is on screen with her son, Danny. Again, and I've said this before in a, its own standalone video, I feel like she might be Sheila's daughter, Daisy. Daisy has a daughter named Lucy, who is a teenager, who is over on Young and the Rest. List. Sheila had twins that were never on Bald. They were only on Young and the Restless, Daisy and Ryder. And they were bad seeds. Both of those kids knew Deacon. They used to do bad things with him over in Genoa City. So we do know that this new chick, Lucy, who it's very strange that she would have Sheila's granddaughter's name. Uh, Lucy has scenes with Steffi. It looks like she might be in scenes with Liam because her kid, Dan, Danny is a schoolmate of Kelly Spencer's. And then Lucy takes the kids over to Il Giardino and then there's scenes with Sheila. That's why I'm really thinking she might actually be Daisy and might be spying on Steffi and Finn for Sheila. We'll see. We also have Liam scenes ahead next week with Steffi and Kelly. Looks like he may be, like I said, in some of the scenes with this new girl, Lucy. Word is going to spread around Forrester Creations about Zende and Luna. I'm sure RJ is going to tell his parents. I'm just wondering if they're going to renew their drive to maybe send him away. Maybe he'll get fired, even though he's done nothing wrong that he did knowingly, you know. Um, it looks like there's supposed to be new scenes for Emma on the 19th, maybe some new flashbacks. So I said I wasn't sure if we would have Thomas and Hope next week. I feel like we might just because in a script that Kimberlyn Brown showed for the 19th, there was someone listing Emma and if it's Emma, you know it's going to be stuff with Thomas. And we do know Xander is supposed to be back in sweeps. And the week of the 19th through the 23rd is the last full week of sweeps. So maybe, maybe we'll get her. That's everything we have for these early edition spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon. Because as always, this is Belinda with Soap Dirt. And we're talking bold seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>